Today we're going to be going over how to do this paper stack montage transition. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get paper textures. You can get them for free online, but they may degrade in quality. What I would recommend is using Brian Delimata's paper texture pack. It will be linked in the description box below. This is an affiliate link. So if you buy from there, you will support the channel. Additionally, you can use the discount code CAMWAC for $5 off. Once you have your paper textures, you're going to take them into your timeline i'm going to take three ripped and folded papers from his pack i actually decided to do five so i took all the paper textures and i rotated them by 180 degrees the next thing you're going to want to do is find frames that you want to be images for the paper textures whenever you see an image that you want all you have to do is select this snap image and then have it saved as a png and then also have it check so that it imports back into the project once you have all the stills that you want just take them from your project panel and drop them back into the timeline so the next thing you're going to want to do is sort of set up these images to come in sequence so you're going to drag these clips on top of each other and then you're going to make one appear every four frames so from the first one at the bottom one two three four and then you will drag that one in one two three four drag that one in one two three four drag that one in one two three four drag that one in and these should come in after each other by each four frames now what you're going to want to do is drag in your paper textures so when you're dragging in your paper textures you're going to put a paper texture on top of each layer i'm going to disable all of these so we can see what's going on here what you're going to want to do is grab your paper texture, go to opacity, and then change the blending mode to screen. What you're gonna do once the texture set to screen is you're going to fit as much as the image as you can into the paper texture. And then what you're going to wanna do is you're going to want to mask around the texture, getting it at the paper rips and folds so that way you can sell the effect more. Once the mask is done, you're gonna probably wanna take the mask down so that way you have rough, harsh edges and then you can check. If it looks like you need to adjust more, as you can see here, there's a little bit of slippage right there. Click back on it, go into your max path and adjust, add points, adjust accordingly if you need to. Once it's fully masked out, you're gonna select both the paper texture and the image and then nest them both together. Now all you have to do is do the exact same thing with all of the other images. I'll come back once I've done that. Once you're done masking out all of your images, now you're gonna give it a little bit of animation to give it a little bit of sauce. We're gonna grab transform. We're gonna keyframe the scale. It's gonna start at 100. We're gonna have that pop from 100 to 110. And then we're going to adjust the rotation to whatever we want, I'm gonna put it at negative 24. I'm gonna have this one start at negative 24. Also for scale, turn off, use composition shutter and adjust it by 180. We're gonna copy this transform and we're gonna paste it on our next image. But this time we're going to adjust the rotation a slight bit more. And you're just gonna do this for all of your images until your last one. And you'll just rotate all of your images give it a nice dynamic look next thing we're going to do is give it a quick flash you're going to get brightness and contrast drag it onto your nest keyframe brightness to start at 100 go to frames over and have it reset to zero and then take that brightness and contrast copy it and then paste it to all of your other layers now you have a good effect here i'm going to cut off all of the excess and delete it and then I'm going to nest these and then you can sort of decide where you want the effect to be. The next thing I would do to give it a tiny bit more sauce, get transform again, add it, press scale, turn off use composition, again, put it at 180 and then keyframe your scale to 105 to give the effect just a tiny bit more movement. And the last thing we're going to do is give it a nice flash to tie it all 
in, what you're gonna do is create an adjustment layer, take the adjustment layer, put it over top of the clip, make it about three frames long, one, two, three, take it here, grab brightness and contrast again, drag it onto the adjustment layer, keyframe brightness, go to the middle keyframe, keyframe again and turn it to 100 and then go to the last turn it to zero and just drag it to the end to make sure it's properly there and then just copy that flash layer and then paste it again so that way it transitions out and just like that you have a nice paper montage effect thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe for more bye